After being completely disappointed with Dirt 5, I was skeptical about trying out Gravel. If a Codemasters team failed at making a Dirt game, how could a team with less resources be able to make a game that rivals Dirt 5? Yet, I was surprised at Gravel. Here is a game that is rarely talked about now, and it needs to be praised for what it gets right. I'm here to explain why I think Gravel is a better game compared to Dirt 5. Here is a quick rundown of each game. Both games are being compared with all of their DLC content. Dirt 5 doesn't look and feel like a Dirt game in its presentation. This comes down to two aspects, art style and vehicle designs. While I do think that Dirt 5 is the better looking game graphically compared to Gravel, I don't feel the same for the art style. All the colors are super saturated, which makes the environments and cars feel unnatural. The user interface mashes a lot of different colors together and is peppered with busy artwork. It's not necessarily bad, but it doesn't fit in with the art design we expect from Dirt. Plus, it seems like the developers didn't differentiate themselves from their own previous work with Onrush. For the vehicles, there are some that just don't feel like off-road, rally-esque cars. They look like vehicles taken right off the dealer lot, with no rally lights, no roll cages, and no racing seats. Even with the cars that are properly detailed, they suffer from another problem. Liveries. Many paint jobs lack sponsorship logos and look like player-made designs. It doesn't feel like I'm an off-road race driver when I'm using stock vehicles and cars with lackluster liveries. Looking at Gravel, it definitely has a better presentation. The game is less saturated with a more grounded color palette. The user interface is simplistic, but does a much better job keeping it consistent with its red, black, and gray colors. They went with their own look, rather than trying to follow the gaming trends of that bright, colorful, and overly simplistic art style. In terms of cars, besides the military vehicles, all of them look like they were designed for off-road and rally racing. Nothing is just stock, with many having bull bars, snorkels, and rally lights. Vehicles also have better liveries that look like what we'd see in real life. I feel like I'm an actual off-road race driver when I play gravel. Gravel is so much fun when it comes to its tracks. There is a variety of course types, with stadium circuits, speed cross, cross country, and wild rush. Each track style is unique from each other. Stadium circuits are very short but technical courses. Speed cross are mainly flat, tarmac tracks. Cross country are point-to-point -point courses with long, sweeping vistas and huge jumps to fly off of. Lastly, Wild Rush is similar to cross country, but takes place on more condensed off-road circuits. Both cross country and Wild Rush tracks also let you build up a ton of speed as vehicles can top out in the long straights. The sense of speed on these tracks is just great. Overall, Gravel's course variety and design is really good. I always enjoy racing on the game's many tracks. In Dirt 5, however, much of the tracks feel like they were made to look good instead of being competently designed. A lot of tracks are very closed off and lack a lot of long straights, which hurts the game's sense of speed. You rarely get opportunities to reach your vehicle's top speed and be able to sustain that momentum. Another problem is that even though there is a variety of track types, with Rally Raid, Stampede, Land Rush, Ultra Cross, Sprint, and Icebreaker, many courses just feel the same. Other than Sprint and Icebreaker, I can hardly tell what track type I'm actually driving on. Can you tell which one is the Stampede course, and what one is the Land Rush course? This goes for the other types of courses as well, which ends up feeling like that I'm always driving on the same style of track. Dirt 5 simply lacks variety and good design for its courses. Dirt 5 has some awful car physics. Vehicles feel relatively weightless in terms of driving and in collisions. The handling is so lethargic and slidey, even with the assist turned all the way up. Vehicles lift off the ground constantly, as it seems like the downforce is just too weak. Collisions with objects and vehicles are like buttered up bumper cars because of how they bounce and slide off of each other. It really feels like I'm driving toy cars. 
There is also a major problem with the vehicle's auto balancing system. It's inconsistent when the auto balancing activates, and when it does, the physics go haywire. Cars will sometimes get unnaturally pulled back down to the ground. Vehicles rarely flip over, and if they do, the game usually struggles to put them back on its wheels. It's simply not fun to drive, which makes the game an absolute chore to play at times. The sprint cars are almost unusable, you literally fight the controls in Gymkhana, and the Pathfinder events are downright insultingly bad. Vehicle physics are such an important part to get right in a racing game, and while they don't have to be perfect, Dirt 5 fails in this regard. Gravel's vehicle physics are nowhere perfect, but are much better. Vehicles feel like they are heavy. The handling is slidey, but it's much more controllable, and it feels like I'm throwing the weight of the vehicle down in the corners. The cars also seem to stick to the ground more, without lifting off the road as much. Collisions with cars feel heavy, and the same goes for when hitting objects. Most importantly, there is little to no magical force that tries to auto-balance your car. The game lets your vehicle flip over naturally, without trying to get it back on all four wheels. Lastly, there are also tuning options to tweak the alignment, suspension, gearing, and braking to something that you like. While the vehicle physics does have its wonky side at times, these physics make gravel way more enjoyable. To be fair, Dirt 5 has advantages over gravel, like with its dynamic time of day and weather, better car sounds, better visual damage, more content, split screen, and crossplay for online multiplayer. It's hard for gravel to compete in those aspects, since Milestone is a smaller production in terms of people and budget. However, what's important here to notice is that gravel gets the core components right. It absolutely nails art style, vehicle designs, track designs, track variety, sense of speed, vehicle physics, and handling. These are arguably very main components to a racing game that Dirt 5 completely botches, which makes it an inferior game compared to Gravel. What do you think? Do you think that Gravel is better than Dirt 5, or do you think that Dirt 5 is better than Gravel? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. This has been Gamer Alex. I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.